This is Carson from MathCore Index, MathCast, uh, uh, you know, you know the deal. I'm here with uh, not only the guitarist from ARMS, but the head admin of the Odd Metered MathCore shitposting group, Odd Metered MathCore shitposting. Um, Michael, say hello. Hey, what's up? It's very cold. It's, it's really cold out here right now. It's incredibly cold. I'm dying. Yeah. You're from Florida, so it's just, it's, it's very, yeah. uh, what does, what does Florida think of MathCore? Um, Florida doesn't tend to think a whole lot about MathCore. We got a couple bands out there who, you know, sort of fit into the MathCore genre per se, like Feralux from South Florida. They're a pretty big name. Um, other than that, yeah, we have a bit of a hardcore scene around Central Florida. Um, we really don't have a whole lot of, you know, like chaotic bands um, in our veins. Right on. Say. So, do you do you think that it's easier to just say that you're a hardcore band and then gig as a hardcore band than it is to say you're a mathcore or a chaotic hardcore band or an experimental hardcore band? Um, that's actually a tough call because if you're you know, within the genre that we play, it's kind of tough to fit into the hardcore or the metal scenes. We're kind of just in a weird crossroads in between hardcore and metal. Um, sometimes we book hardcore shows, sometimes we book metal shows, but we don't completely fit into either. So it's a, yeah, it's a tough call for sure. Question. Uh, you guys seem to gain a lot of online support based on just like Bandcamp supporters. You know, when you're when you're scrolling through your Bandcamp supporters on your album Blackout, there seems to be just like supporter after supporter after supporter. In this new internet age, do you think it's easier to just be an online band rather than a touring band? Do you think uh, not that there's money to be made just online, but as far as popularity goes, do you sometimes think that we should just stay a band that is just online? Absolutely, yes, I do. Um, and if anything, we're a perfect testament to that because we started out as an online band. Arms has been a, um, a band since 2011, and for the longest time, even through the release of Blackout, it was actually just Paul who um, worked on Arms. This project is essentially his brainchild. So, yeah, in a lot of ways, it is more convenient for bands to just um, <clears throat> to just be online projects because that is the future of communication for sure so you guys have a new split coming out can you talk about that um yeah we we're doing a split with a band called seizures from california and they're fantastic um excellent band for sure um we wrote two new songs for that split um we played one of them tonight as a matter of fact um we do not have a working title yet for that song however but um the other one is called junk witch and uh yeah, we're super stoked to record them, for sure. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it, it's definitely some of our best work to this date. Awesome. Well, when can we expect that? Um, ideally, it should be coming out within the next few months. We actually just uh, received a message from Seizures saying that um, they just got done recording. So, you know, they still have to undergo the mixing and the mastering process and, you know, what have you. But, uh, yeah, it... Um, Expect it in early 2018. All right, awesome. Well, where can people find your shit? Um, well, we're on Bandcamp. Uh, yeah, you can just search Arms on Bandcamp. We are not the pop rock band called Arms from New York. We are the other Arms on Bandcamp. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we have links to that on our Facebook page as well. Odd Meter Math Core shit posting. Go give it a like. Um, I mean, go give it a like if you want to hate yourself, but yeah. Sure. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Michael.